Hey there, today I will be showing you the best alternative to Office 365 for Linux users. So this application is available on multiple platforms. You can check the description below for the list of different distributions that support it. The name to this alternative is called WPS Office. WPS stands for Writer Presentation Spreadsheet. To begin installing on Linux, you can head over to this link, which will be in the description below, and then click on download. Now over here, you can select a Debian package or RPM package depending on your distribution. So if you are on Ubuntu, then click on Debian package. Save the file to your preferred location. Once the file has downloaded, we can begin installing it. So open up the terminal and cd into the folder where you saved it. I have saved mine in the downloads folder and you can see it right here. To install WPS Office, you need to type sudo dpkg hyphen i and then you can type in WPS and if you hit tab on your keyboard it will auto complete for you. Hit enter and enter your password and it should begin installing. Make sure it has installed without any errors and if you do face any issues please let me know in the description below. Now you can go ahead and open up WPS Office by either clicking on its icon or in the terminal you can type WPS and hit enter. When you open up WPS Office for the first time it will ask you to read through its license agreement and privacy agreement. So you can tick the box right here and click on the confirm button. Once WPS opens up you can browse recent documents and if you have none, you can go ahead and click on New Document or New Tab. Over here, you can select from either Document, Excel or Presentation and hit the Add button to create it. You will notice that the user interface of WPS Office is really similar to Microsoft Word. And this is why it is a great alternative for Linux users. WPS Office also allows you to work on multiple documents at the same time. So for example, if I wanted to work on a spreadsheet while working on a document, I can go ahead, click on the Add button, and then create Empty Table. Once you are done working on the document, you can go ahead and save it by hitting Ctrl S on your keyboard. Give the file a sensible name and then save it wherever you would like to. Now when you open up WPS Office the next time, you will see that your document is visible in the recent document section. You can simply click it and it will open it up for you. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. Show some support by liking the video and sharing it around your Linux mates. Thank you.